Okay. Welcome everybody on YouTube and also here in Twitch chat for our very next deck. Um, we have Bant Adapt. Uh, so this is like the Simic Adapt, uh, donated by the same person that, that uh, we were playing that and had a lot of success with the Simic Adapt deck and really liked that. But, you know, we struggled against aggro. So, so I was thinking, how about we try this with Bant? where we have cards like Shalai and Lyra in the sideboard and Settle. And so we have like good things against aggro decks. And also we have Knight of Autumns now. Again, we're playing Deputy Detention. And again, I, I, will, be, I will be surprised if this card is good. But, you know, we're going to try it out here again um, and see if we can exile some stuff with it. Uh, but besides that, we got Teferi also, which is awesome. Real mystic, so it's similar to the you know the the Bant mid range deck that I played earlier, but it's it's a little little different. We're going with Hadana's climb and Growth Chamber Guardians. No, okay, don't eat my food. Um, and so here we go. That's that's what I did. I did distract him with cat food, I, but he already I guess he was walking back up here licking his lips, so maybe he ate most all of it. All right, Bant adapt. So Cryo, I th I I like I like Smothering Tithe. Um, I haven't, you know, I haven't put together a deck yet. Uh, you know, I was starting the stream earlier today. I didn't get a chance to. Um, so I was wondering if you said that Friday is usually busy for you. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind if wait till Saturday maybe, then, um, for that if you wouldn't mind. Okay, cool. All right, well then I'll play it on Saturday. And do you still want it after seven? After seven p.m. Yeah, so I'm eating some bread and almond butter. This almond butter is really good. Dude, I really like it. Yeah, it's a pretty big piece of bread. Hmm. Okay, anytime Saturday, gotcha. Well, then I'll probably just start off, I'll just start off with it on Saturday, then. So I'll just start start off with it at 3 on Saturday, so have like the exact time. Um, almond butter is basically the same as peanut butter, it just, it just tastes a little different, maybe a little sweeter. But you know, same kind of texture and everything. I'm just dropping Biogenic Ooze. You know, I could hold up Frilled Mystic or activate Incubation Druid, but I'm just going to drop the Biogenic Ooze. Out of the 5 0, what's my favorite 5 0 list from today? Honestly, I really liked the Bant mid range list. Quite a bit, but yeah, both both Mardu and Ragdos Burn felt good. Oh, I mean, they're all going five zero. You know, it's they're feeling good. Another ooze? Yes, please. Yeah, I really wish that they, uh, I really wish the breeding pool and the biogenic ooze and stuff, I really wish they had different noises. I don't, I don't like the noises they have. Um, I was saying that I probably, like, for the five win decks, I probably prefer a bant midrange. With those. Thanks, Todd James. No, Hawkeye. No. My bread. My toast. All right, so they're playing Teamer, Rhythm of the Wild stuff. What do we want to do there? So 
they're probably gonna have like rekindling phoenix and i'm sure they you know they're gonna probably have like they're gonna have lava coil and like big dinosaur thing that fights i mean debbie attention just never is gonna stay is never gonna stay alive um probably want baffling ends I'm gonna trim one night and I think I'm gonna keep it like that Jay Bull subbing with for the second month in a row saying hey great stream today and I'm loving the Naya value deck thanks Jay Bulls thanks for that continued support that's sub number 19 on the day and it looks like we're actually 68 subs away now 19 68. That's a good point, Mike. So I guess the Simic is supposed to be gross, so that's why it's gross sounds. I don't like it, though. What deck would I recommend to start best of three ladder? I think there's going to be... I think be at mid-range. Um, maybe the oppressive mid-range deck of this format. I think it's still being tuned. But I could see in a couple of weeks Band mid range being the dominating deck in the format. Yeah, I try to eat pretty healthy. Yeah. Not like, you know, I'm not like really, really healthy or anything, but definitely try to eat healthy. Bant has kind of all the tools, and especially gaining um, I think a big addition to that deck, honestly, is um, I guess I'm just taking this this Hydroid Crisis I think it helps it like go over the top Yeah, I think Naya Valley is going to remain competitive. It'll be interesting to see if Bant Midrange does take off, how my how Naya Midrange does against Bant Midrange. They just, you know, I just have no idea right now how that does or would do. Yeah, this is Purity Ring, Body Ape. Also, did I do I have like settles in my sideboard that I just did not bring in? Because that's foolish. If I did not bring in settle the wreckage, and against a gruel deck. So I feel like that's the case. Yeah, y'all are telling me yes. I feel like that was pretty foolish by me.
Hmm. Which that doesn't mean that we don't that I don't have answers to this Gargan Hellkite. I know we have like Teferi, Vivian, Conclave Tribunals. Yeah, Bant refers to colors, so it's blue, green, and white. Decks that are blue, green, and white. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, no, I'm not. You don't need any of my almond butter toast. Cat, get some cat hair on my toast. Okay, I need to get to the the mouse now. I need a sideboard. Now he's attacking me if I come close. Yeah, move, move. Yeah, I'm gonna pick you up. Ah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> um. I'll play one climb. I want the Shalai's in there to help protect other things. Also. Hawkeye's an expert negotiator. Certainly a slow hand, but I like it. We can draw <coughs> our early stuff still. We didn't do so good at the whole, we could draw some early stuff. Part of our plan. Yeah, that part of the plan didn't go so well. But we still have Frilled Mystic. And into Vivian. So we're still doing just fine. No. Bad Registrar Alpha. Bad. Our opponent plays a lot of haste creatures. So there's a good chance I, Vivian I've does not survive this. Like Alright, we got three lands down to the bottom. Not losing everything again. I can see, I can hear Hawkeye, or he was, yeah, he was just, he's licking his lips back there. I, I could hear him just, he was just eating uh, some, some more of this food from his bowl. Well, 
<clears throat> that's a biogenic ooze kind of kind of turn there. No one knows the wilds like I do. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's a big dino. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Carnage Tyrant is going to be a problem. Not like that much of a problem though. A slight, slight problem. Honestly, we we're just getting, we're getting a lot of cards though, so. Alright, Vivian down. back we got just like before yep exactly Vivian you'll be back don't worry about it um <clears throat> I didn't play the angel was this thing? Hmm. Because I wanted to increase my mana. <clears throat> like, I want to play Incubation Druid. I could have gone Druid plus Angel. But <clears throat> I didn't want to block with Angel on the Carnage Siren, but I wouldn't really mind blocking with a couple Guardians. One, two, three, four, five. So I can Ooze plus Activate. And play Druid. Oh, need more water. That's better. <clears throat> Alright, so we have the Tribunal for the Phoenix. If they get another red mana. <clears throat> Stop! All the lava coils. It is pretty obnoxious, right? That's what I was thinking. But how this thing comes. It's probably not very high on their priority list. Yeah, I tapped the Incubation Druid, but that was okay. DD or Donation decks, those are decks that people donate to see played. Hmm. 
I guess there's an update available. All right, victory. Bant adapt. Want to know? My, you know, after being on for over nine hours, this has been like really jumpy here anyway. So I, I needed a reset anyway. As you can tell. So it's a good time to get it reset. <clears throat> Stone for Mystic, unbanned and MTGA. So let's see what we got here. Oh, y'all's are updating too? Is it taking a while to update? I don't want it to take a while to update. That's what I'm that's what I wanted to do. I just like up to I just like updated this today too. Next is a fate now a sorcery. I just started and I'm at 40%. Okay, cool. That'd be great. Nexus of Fate, now a sorcery. That'd be awesome. Nexus of Fate now doesn't just shuffle back into your library. Now It just exiles itself. Taking a little, little bit of time here. There we go. I am uh, getting the Teamer Gates deck ready to go up on YouTube. I think all the other videos should be up on YouTube. I think MTGO is still still doing its thing, I think. Finish. I guess run. Uh, exclusive shot. Uh, we're actually 69 subs away now. Um, subscriber numbers are fluctu they fluctuate. Um, you know, so subs that were a month ago wear off and everything, and so some join. You know, like so, they go up and down. Hmm. This is metric. Love you back. Um, 
So from these decks that you've tested today, which one do you consider the most consistent one? Um, it's hard to argue with Mardu Angels right now. I'm 15, 15 and 2 with that deck. I don't know. I, they're all good. I like Bant Midrange a lot. I like Bant Midrange, Naya Value, Mardu Angels has been really good. Um, Rax Rakdos Burn, that was my first time playing it. We went 5-0. Um, I would need some more time with the deck. I feel if it's that if it's as good as the others. Any advice for my first team event in just over a week? <clears throat> You're playing Legacy for the first time. Um, team events are a whole lot of fun. That's like the, the big thing about team events. Just like, hopefully you and your team don't have like super high expectations of like, oh man, we got to go win this kind of thing. Dude, just, just have fun with your teammates and with your, with your opponents and stuff. Like, don't be scared to like be talking with your teammates and talking with your opponents and everything. It's, it's kind of like playing EDH basically. They're, they're just a whole lot of fun where you just, um, you know, it's where, you know, you know, don't be, don't be afraid to, like, crack jokes, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I guess, I guess that's, like, my, my big, uh, um, advice. Okay, cool. Your name is Value Backwards, because you're just playing on having fun. Nice. It's, it's usually less tense, um, the team events, because... You know, you're with your friends and you know, you're joking and stuff and and yeah. Do you prefer Rakdos Judith or Mono Red Aggro? Um, I haven't seen a Rakdos Judith deck I absolutely love yet. Um, but there's a lot of potential there. You gotta play a good amount of creatures to go Rakdos. Okay, so how do you have fun at Magic, even if you're losing and you don't have a good record? It's really tougher when you're losing. That's that's true. Um, but just kind of, I don't know. I when I'm playing like when I was playing Magic, I would not like focus on, or not really think about like just all the other things that are going on in life, and just enjoy the game and enjoy, um, you know, what's what. Uh, you know, like, just enjoy playing, enjoy, like, the atmosphere, especially, like, the team event kind of thing where you're with your friends. Um, and, uh, tournaments are kind of created to make losers. You know, only one person makes a, uh, like, only one person wins a tournament. Tons and tons of people lose. Um, and that's something that you just kind of, kind of have to be used to losing, I guess kind of thing um i think that helped i played i was a college tennis player and in tennis um when you're playing like if you think about how long a tennis match is and it's just point after point after point where you could be hitting like a great shot and it like just hits the top of the net and bounces out kind of thing or you know or you just hit it barely out or like your opponent hits a great shot and, it, and it's like right on the line and so, like, there's lots of, like, small, like, bad beats in tennis. And so I guess I kind of got used to that with, like, Magic also. Like, you know, your opponent draws, like, this great card or, you know, you just can't can't possibly draw a card to save your life kind of thing. Um, that that, that kind of stuff happens a lot. In, and I think that, that me being used to losing helps, uh, I think. Because I, I think the, the hardest is when you like when you take the the losing too too seriously and like too much to heart where you really let it um affect you like it's just going to happen and um all you can do is uh just kind of just enjoy the moment and try to play the best you can and just see what happens and you know if if you play your best and you lose like that's that's what happens but, you know, you know, you played your best. And even if you made some mistakes, if you're, you know, trying your best and you had a positive attitude, you know, that's okay. And you just hopefully notice those mistakes and learn from them and try not to make those mistakes next time. Um, 
but you know you can't you can't just beat yourself up uh too much when you do make mistakes and everything um it's it's okay like you know we're human it's okay to make a couple mistakes um but if you're just if you're just solely focusing on that on like your mistakes and your losses just not a, a good way to live your life um it's it's better to just enjoy enjoy what you're doing and try your hardest and um and be satisfied with that okay we're back up with arena here going on to match number two and uh, this will be a keep hopefully we can get this third land but like incubation druid into hadana's climb like if the if the druid stays around we can add a lot of mana we don't of course have white mana yet Noxie says, also, sometimes you make the right play and you still lose, and that's okay, too. Yep. I mean, it, yeah, if you... Like, that's just kind of part of it. It's okay. To... To lose. A lot of people are scared to lose. That's a very real thing. People are, are scared that they'll lose, but... It's okay. There's basically everybody loses. <laughs> yeah, you know, like there's there's one person that wins a tournament. Um, very difficult to be that one person. But even in a match, you know, only one of the two people are gonna gonna win. Even if you're just like playing one on one, you know, and it's half the time that's you, half the time that's the opponent. Just do your best. And you're good. All right, they're shocking and passing turn. Are they just gonna be frilled mysticing me? Are they, they can't have frilled mystic in their spell deck with Terramander and Enigma Drake. Nah, they're, they're not gonna have frilled mystic. I'm not gonna play around frilled mystic. Hey, simple G with the sub. Thank you so much, Simple G. Sub number 20 on the day. I do appreciate that. That gets us 20, so we're going to be opening up another pack after this. And we are back down to 68 subscribers needed. You cannot get lands. Huh. I guess they are gonna have Frilled Mystic in their Spells Matter deck. Love the stream. In tournament play, do you think it's better to pick the best deck or pick against the meta? I think it's best to pick a deck you are very comfortable piloting and you think you can pilot well. I think that's the most important thing.
We're barely in this game. Yes, uh, Krasis is a very safe craft. Yes. Crafting uh, Krasis is very safe. That card is, that card's really good. They attack out. <clears throat> I'm just blocking Drake and Mystic. Oh, I can't block Drake and Mystic. I guess I'm dead if they attack out. And if they have... They attack out and they have a spell to pump up Enigma Drake. Well. That is very good for me. They could have like one, they could have like a lava coil on, or something. That was great for me. Yeah, Lava Coil is a sorcery. I mean, they could have, like, post-combat. Like, maybe they wanted to attack for three. Alright, so we have Hedonis Climb up. Plus Frilled Mystic. That's horrible for me. Counter that one. Oh, I know about Hadanas. I know about it. Okay, so I cast, I gotta cast Knight of Autumn, so that's three mana. Cast Knight of Autumn, activate Winged Temple, and play Incubation, or then and cast Frilled Mystic. Uh, this game's real close. Because of how these colors work, I'm going to have to tap this here. 
So I need, I'm gonna add three blue plus green green mystic. Need to stop in this this main phase. I need to activate the Hadana's climb here because I need to use the the mana here. Like this is the only way I could could activate Hadana's and cast for old Mystic. I should have a stop here. On oh, no more instant sorceries. Uh. No more instant sorceries. Dang it. Ugh. So close. That was a matchup that having Knight of Autumn main deck really hurt us. Gonna have all the removal. Is Shalai even worth it? Yeah, we're on full control. Shall I even worth it here? Maybe not. It doesn't fight the Drakes too well. Is Deputy of Detention going to be any good? No. So I have one more card. Maybe just play one settle. I honestly may be sideboarding out Deputy Detention every single game here. <laughs> every single match against any every single opponent. I just not too big of a fan of the card. Hadana's is good against their flyers, yes. You can only play 60 cards though. But yeah, Hadana's can certainly be good of flipping our creature. Yeah, for the deck list, exclamation point deck list gets you there. Dilt. Where's our lands? Yeah, we got 25 lands. Okay, there we go. There's a land. Ooh, opponent doesn't have a land. I don't know why I didn't like hit him last turn. Fairy, and we win! Hooray! I pulled that thought. Hooray, magic! Opponent gets stuck on two lands, and we play to fairy. Hooray, magic!
Yeah, Teferi clearly won the game. Okay, game three. Alright, we're gonna be able to hit our land drops. I like that. They're at six already. To play best of three, there's a switch you need to toggle that doesn't even look like a switch, it looks like a logo. It's around this area of the screen where my mouse is. Need to find that and click that. It is a horrendous system that they really need to fix. I will counter chart a course. Uh, it's not a chart of course. I was all ready to counter that chart of course. I will not let my growth chamber guardian just get lava coiled though. Yeah, the end bosses haven't been doing as well today. We've been crushing end bosses today. Uh, Deckmaster is that app. Oh, really? This is the Florida Panthers goal song? Really? It's a good one. Need one more answer to another Terramander here. All right, no frilled mystic. That's good. No frilled mystic, real good. No. Should have countered the lava coil. I would have just countered the lava coil. My opponent got me. Certainly thought they had multiple lava coils. I don't really think of like just two shocks then also. Whoops. Whoops. Ugh. They got me. Could have countered the lava coil. Yeah, good sequencing by the opponent. You know, like usually the first spell is like the bait spell, but in that scenario they cannot they can't lead with shock, because you know they lead with shock and then I then they play coil and I counter it, like Yeah. I think biggest mistake I made that game was not just throwing my Growth Chamber Guardian out. It turned out like if I would have thrown out my Growth Chamber Guardian out earlier and like and let it get die to the removal spell, you know, we couldn't see that far ahead, but you know, farther and farther ahead, uh, it turned out what we would have been able to 
Um, we would have been able to then save Lyra Dawnbreaker because we would have had enough to, you know, because they would have been down a removal spell. So. Deputy, detect Deputy of Detention would be pretty nice here. Get this blue mana. Hmm. So they missed the land drop. They could take this turn off, killing the Growth Chamber Guardian. But that's less damage to me. Oh, good call. Yeah, we got to the 20 subs. We got to get, get to a pack. And we're back down to needing 69 subscribers. Now they take the turn off again and kill kill my ooze. I guess at this point they're gonna have four counter or three counters on the runaway steamkin, so we'll be able to add mana with steamkin also. Hey, <laughs> yeah, right. All the new decks are, like, there's so many good decks these days. Why do you need lands when you have runaway steamkins? They should not have attacked first. They would have been attacking for four and three. Like that, that actually just worked out perfectly for them. Yeah, I'm just kind of dead here. If I had blue mana, this would be perfect. Dead any spell. I've lost so much already. I won't lose. No one knows the wilds like I do. I can't I can't shock in. Won't be able to shock for blue mana. I'm just looking for blue mana deck. Yeah, we did get steamrolled here. Oh, we only have 10 blue sources in this deck? Wait, is that right? No, we have 13. But still, 13 blue sources with Frilled Mystic? Hmm. That's kind of sketchy. We need to bump that number up. All right, but now we got we got a better sideboard here. So we got binding, bringing all these, all the white cards, basically. Um. Uh, you finally got done with your twelve-hour day, Timido. I am ten hours in. We got two hours to go here. Um. Maybe I don't need negates. Twenty-eight 
24 hour stream. I can't, I can't hit. I just can't stream for that long. Hey, Zelay. I can't stay awake that long. All right, let's try this. Green, white, splash, negate. Nah, I won't be making mistakes at 14 hours plus. I think I've, I think I've streamed for around, I think the longest I've streamed is about 18 hours. All right, we're gonna hit our land drops. We got a baffling end for the first team, Ken. And, uh, we can get towards Biogenic Ooze. Lots of shock lands. Yeah, you can see the Mardu Angels list in decks. You can find it on my stream decker. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. So we can find all of my decks on there. I did it right above you. Right above you, Dong. You can see the link is right above that. Whoa, 600 gifting subs to the channel also? Man, thank you so much, 600. That gets us to 25 subs of the day. Oh, very nice, 600. Thank you so much. Everybody get some hype in the channel for our gifted subs. That bumps us up to our next sub goal. 25. Two packs. And we're at 64 subs needed now. Get out of here, runaway steamkin. Stop killing me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, sub sound, it's, it's the Final Fantasy VII victory music. So Connor says, enjoying the content, man. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much. All right, this Goblin Chain Whirler is has also met a baffling end. Much like the Runaway Steamkin. <laughs> Just wanted to hear the sub sound, not gonna lie. There you go. So Biogenic Ooze would be, I like, I want to have like seven mana. I want to be able to protect Biogenic Ooze if possible. <clears throat> but Girl Chamber Guardians are just going to like demand Lava Coils, basically. All right, I will, I will trade two for one. I will trade Burn Spell for, plus Girl Chamber Guardian. That's all you want to do with your turn. I think Final Fantasy VI had like basically the same victory song as well. Ooh, the bluffs. So they're gonna try to shock this one. I just had some food, so not as exhausted. Uh, 
Alright, now they shock this. Oh, that has all the victory, victory fanfare themes. Nice. Okay, what you doing over there, opponent? Playing more lands? Last time they had like two lands in all spells and it was perfect for them. This time they're up to six lands. It's a lot better for me. More Growth Chamber Guardians! Yeah, I, I basically played seven through I played seven through ten myself. Thought I've played control since I came back to MTG and Ixalan. The only non control deck I've played is Green White Tokens and Grixis Energy back in the day. I'm liking Esper right now, but I've never had good luck with control in the opening week or two of new standard. So I'm torn on what to play. I've caught all your streams recently. Just looking at these decks has been great. Well, first thanks. Uh, yeah, control control is pretty tough. Like first week, that is true. Um, if you're not liking your Esper deck, I mean, it's kind of you know kind of the same. I I like a lot of these, but um, you know maybe the Bant mid range deck that has Teferi in it. Uh, and you get to play it at flash speed. And you get some counter magic in the sideboard. I don't know what else I'm really n negating if I'm not negating that. I guess I'm just keeping this biogenic ooze alive though. That's the big thing. Yeah, I was actually planning on doing traditional draft on stream with this set because um, I did I did like a whole day of traditional draft um, off stream when my friend was here, like the day after we did 12 hour limited stream um, when David was here, and uh, and then. Um, Basically, I just already had the whole set after like one day of sealed and one day of drafting. I basically had almost everything in the set because of how fast you open up the cards. And um, I just started playing constructed. And yeah. So now there's, yeah. Okay, we didn't really need the negates. There, but I don't think that doesn't mean that we're not going to need negates. Let's keep it this. Oh, yeah, 600 crushed me today at best of three. Crushed me. With black, red aristocrats. 
One of our two losses with the Beautiful Angels deck. I have an RPTQ in 10 days. What decks would you advise me to start testing? Um, I think probably the, like, I think this this weekend, it, I mean, I, I think Banta's going to be really good. I think it, it's going to take a little bit to, like, kind of figure out the exact configuration of it. But I think I think Bant kind of has everything right now. Um, and... Uh, You know, I think just like fast mana with like one one and two mana, like a lot of fast mana stuff, and then into like Biogenic Oozes and, and Krasises and Vivians uh, and Teferi and, and stuff like that is, and then you have like good tools to fight aggro. I think it just kind of has everything. Bant's removal is weird. Yeah, a lot of your removal is Vivian and Teferi. Is this a Chain Whirler? Okay, no, it's a Firebrand. Thoughts on the gate deck? I I think it's I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, the, the gate deck that uh, the one you know we went five zero with it earlier early today with the teamer gates deck and yeah, I think the deck's quite good. Hmm. All right, so now we have like the three mana where we can adapt to the growth chamber guardian at instant speed. We can also protect it with negate. Um, Binding would probably be better than Conclave. Probably, yeah. This this one is, you know, like, this is a donation deck, so I have, like, not all the, the card choices, like, well, none of the card choices are mine. But yeah, I like, I like Binding a lot. Opponent got adapted. Alright, well they still have a coil. Alright, I'm just gonna pass and act I'm just gonna activate this uh, incubation druid. Probably just eat a burn spell, but we we at least get to block. Also, we're still just in on three lands. Okay, here comes frenzy. Frenzy time. Hmm. All right. It's dead. Ah, flame killed.
Most viewers in the follower list. Nice. Okay, stick action, grab another one. I'm just gonna go ahead and Conclave Tribunal, right? I guess I don't need to. No, I don't need to. All right, let's attack. I'll just play the, the last one of these. So they could risk factor me if they want to discard that card. And then what, I go to five? But I have like a two turn clock on them. And five is like a difficult number for them to kill. For them to deal with. Another lava coil? That's annoying. Is that their fourth one of those? Third one of those? Shuffle this library up. Where's this Dawnbringer? I need one of those. Hey, Swift to my zero with a big time donation. All right. Um, let me see what this says. So, ah. Let me get there. Write a paper, the the link right above your question. Go through there. You can find the Mardu Angels deck list. All right, here's the list. Wait. No, it went away. Okay, here's the list I've been tweaking. Kind of wanted to see if you play test it before I go to work. Enjoy. All right, so Swift, Swift Demise. Skipping the line, and so up next, after this league, we are going to have Black White, Black White Mid Range Angels. So, Black White Angels. Ooh, a bunch of Kaya's Wraths. Here's the deck here. Alright, we are 2 and 1. All right, so up next. Oh, pack time. Pack, pack, pack. Two packs. We've gotten we've gotten to 25 subs. We're in two packs. All right, we're still trying to get mythics. That's what we're trying to open up here. Lifer with a sub. Thank you so much, Lifer. All right, so Orzov Angels is up next. So it looks like we're not going to be playing at Naya Value today. All right, what do we got? Smothering Tithe. Hey, I needed one more of those. Actually, that's a good one. Is everybody playing Smothering Tithe deck on, at 3 on Saturday? And there's the mythic, Ravager Worm. That's a great one. All right, good opens. Good opens there. All right. I like it. Mythic. When do I draft? I don't draft very much at all. Um, yeah, I'd play standard here. Best... Best of three standard leagues. All right, we are two and one. See where Gates is going there. Hmm, Swift. I'm really worried about this 24 lands 
and playing a whole bunch of fours, fives, and sixes. Pretty worried about this 24 land. I'm, I'm not sure that's going to be enough. Have you been playing the deck yourself, Swift? Is that what you said? Alright, Noxie. Take care. We must be like... Like, we must have gotten a lot of subs like one month ago. Because... A whole lot of subs just fell off. Maybe we had like a lot of gifted subs. We are down to... We actually need... 84 subs now for the next 12 hour stream. Treasure map. Oh. The bad part about Growth Chamber Guardian is when you just start with a lot of them in your hand. It's kind of a bad part about the card. Okay, feel free to make tweaks yourself. Okay. If you're gonna cut two cards for two lands, what two cards do you want to cut? I think I want to move. I want to move a Kai. I was thinking like a Kaya's Wrath to the sideboard. Hmm. So this is Jeskai Control? Lonely Jester, welcome to the stream, sub number 27. I've been playing it, I went around 10-1 today in ranked platinum one, just two wins short of diamond at the moment. Okay, all right, awesome. Yeah, that's that's one thing about doing best of one. Best of one because of how the algorithm works of like how it chooses your hands out of the best two that it looks at, you usually get to, you can cheat on lands in best of one because it'll give you more lands. Um, so it's actually, it's actually better to play low land decks in best of one. Oh, Remnant, this is your really good friend. They were playing against right now. I can play the deck through best of one if you want. I can play it through a best of one league, Swift Demise. Um, if you usually play best of one. I also do that with the donation decks. The algorithm is, it, it looks at two hands. Zen streams and it gives you the the hand with the better land to spell ratio. So you, you basically get two looks at it. So it's okay to like kind of play like a less land like a little bit less land because you get, you know, two looks at it at the beginning. All right, so they got six lands here. I can just go for it and like use Wing Temple and try to kill them. Hey. No. Alright, no Hawkeye. Okay. Meow. Hey, bud. Come on. All right, let's see if they block or not. Okay, you're trying to make it for best of three? Gotcha, gotcha.
<laughs> Play a deck with 60 mountains in it. See if I can win with it. Correct. That that really favors decks like Burn. That's why deck. It, that's why Burn is so good in best of one. And people people think, oh man, Burn's so overpowered. It's like, well, no, it's just really good in best of one. Oh, uh, I'll have that result. I still have lethal here, and if I if I draw a land. I can protect lethal with a frilled mystic. Love it. All right, that's game. Yeah, deck list is here. Deck list. All right, playing against control. Let's get all these negates. So we're playing Angel of Grace. We can't just like take out all of our removal. Yeah, yeah, they blow up twice. They <laughs> they are super dead. Um, I don't really want anything else in the sideboard against control. I guess I'm playing this Knight of Autumn, and I guess I'll play a Binding. Oh wait, this is sixty four. Ha, huh, sweet, I can cut more cards. All right, I can cut this pointing. Cut some of these. Oh, wait, we saw treasure map. Ooh, yeah, Night of Autumn good against treasure map. And no, no tithe takers, unfortunately. And maybe playing like Lyra and stuff too. Could be rough. Hmm. All right, going to game two. We got a full house. Donation decks, uh, if you want to play another day, is just $20. A lot of information down below. Uh, look in the info panel. There's a whole whole big thing about donations and, and all, all the things you can donate towards. Including, you know, like the donation decks and everything. I'd like to draw a two drop. Something to fit in here. Wait, why does our opponent only have four cards? So they mulled the five. So we went to six, they went to five. That's good for me. Six is more than five, scientifically speaking. There's the two drop. Now, do I want to Vivian next turn? I don't want Vivian to get countered. So I'm guessing the answer is probably no. I think I'm probably just going to go Glacial Fortress Pass. And... Rude. I guess I could be playing around Syncopate. If I, but I was just planning on putting the Breeding Pool into play tapped. Yeah, I have, I have a, some Mardu Aristocrats deck. That was like one of the first decks I played. Um, played Aristocrats twice so far. I think with Mardu Aristocrats, 
with like the two decks that, that you can that you have there on the stream decker. I think the main deck of the first one was better, but the sideboard of the second one was better. Oh, uh, they had negate. Tilt. I should have just waited. We have pressure. I I kind of was didn't think they had a counter spell, but I should have just waited. Yep, should have waited. Should have played Hedonis Climb that last turn, get that negated, and then they tap out to kill my creatures, and then I have Vivian. That's that was just a bad play of not being patient there. You're welcome, Leo. Sorry, I'm late. Where's the donation info? You need to take a time out. Oh, I love that they tucked that thing. Keep on going down. Who am I watching? Subscribe. Keep on going down. Discord. Donate. Right there. Just keep on scrolling down. No time for a break. No. Don't kill my things. Okay, you figured it out. Cool. You got it. Alright, I played this really bad with the Vivian. The Vivian was a huge mistake. Just me getting hasty, you know, ten and a half hours into the stream. Just getting a little hasty of just wanting to play my card. Can we draw another Teferi? Or another Vivian or Teferi? Either one. <laughs> That's the worst card to draw. Just the actual worst card to draw. Eh, maybe a land's worth. No, that's that's probably worse than a land. Even. Yeah, a land. It would we would have just drawn land plus guardian. What well, is the worst card to draw? My worst defeat. Hmm. Stop. Yeah, I I just gave this away with the Vivian. Oh, we're still going, boot. Not so strong. I was a if not winnable, I could have been a lot closer to winning that game. I mean, I could play enchantment removal for these things, but I guess I should. Get the climbs out. One tribunal, one binding. All right, let's try again. I I don't play standard best of one, so I don't really have a, a informed, a well informed opinion of what the best standard best of one deck is. 
It's a different format than what I play. <laughs> I would not recommend just ignoring turn one land war off and bolting face. I would not recommend doing that. Way to go, Sculpted Mine. Okay, let's see if we can get this game three. It's an important game three here. I don't understand your, your point, Ghost. I don't understand your point. Or like what what you're saying. Just as biogenic Todd, it's been in seven out of ten of your decks, and it really doesn't win you but one out of ten. No blue mana again. This is a problem in a previous game. But hopefully we get this blue mana. We I like like the fast like the fast start here where we can try to get this to ferry down quick. All right, no lava coil, no removal spell here. Let me activate this growth chamber guardian. Okay, I think I may want to activate this growth chamber guardian before I draw. I think I do. I think I want to activate it on upkeep and make it a better chance. You know, like just you know, it just takes one growth chamber guardian out of the deck, so it means I won't draw it as often. And hope I draw a land. Very good. Ah, uh, you're saying ooze is mediocre and you're, and you're cramming in every deck with green. Well, I disagree. Hmm. You have to envision the land uh, showing up. Uh, that's what you gotta do to be able to draw the land. <laughs> okay. See what what does my opponent have? It's kind of looking like they may like have a lava coil for the druid. Are you going to stick with? Are you going to stick with? You think is the best deck to reach mythic when best of three ladder comes online? Uh, I don't know how much, if any, ladder I'll be doing. All right, so we got to, we got clear, or yeah, so we got to counter that. So now we get to resolve to fairy. Keep up the pace. How's it feel, Jeskai opponent? That last song was PVRIS, I think. 
if I remember correctly. We need to move quickly. No Niv is it. Alright, Murray Mystic, I can just talk. You need to slow down. Bunch of adapting. Oh, I have another Frilled Mystic. Oh, I misplayed that. I was thinking I didn't have another counter spell. Crap, I forgot another Frilled Mystic. I should have kept 4 mana open for the Frilled Mystic. At least we're going to have a whole lot more mana now. I only got two cards left. Looking at their graveyard a bunch. We're strong against Deafening Clarion if they have another one of those. Yeah, we're doing a 12 hour stream. We're, you know, hour and a half left, but. We'll see here. We got one more deck. We got Wars of Angels, who just donated to play as well. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. <laughs> Let's skip to the good part. Attack. Will you be back? Not so sure about that. I just never attack with this land war elf. I guess I could be attacking with it. So a Deafening Clarion here would kill three creatures. No Clarion. And uh, You know what? I'm not done yet. Then let's go ahead and attack with these. There's not really a reason to play more things out. Even, you know, yeah, there's just not a reason to play anything else out. All right, to fairy. This isn't a fight you can keep up the pace. Oh, they have metal mana for settle. Eh. Well, we need to move quickly. That's my bad. Oh, 
I let them play it to fairy. We just took another turn. Taking turns is fun. All right, three and one. We're all good. All good. Okay, we got to win this one so we can get to the final boss. So we have like the the uh, semi-final boss, you know, like the got that first. The best deck I've played over the last week is Well, I would I think all right, so like, my answer to that question is Naya Value, but um, the Bant Midrange deck I played today uh, may be better, or if not, it has a whole lot of potential. Um, it, it is, uh, it is, it's good. And, and Bant, like, the colors um, have a whole lot of potential. It, it, it's going to take some more tuning and stuff, but. Yeah, Marty Angels has just been performing really well. Rude. Opponent. Rude. Take him out to Fairy. I wanted to cast that to fairy. Yeah, Judd Midrange could also could definitely have a place in the metagame. It's another deck that'll take a little bit of time. <laughs> Alright, so my plan there was to adapt the uh, adapt the Girl Chamber Guardian and then go to combat and put the, the third counter on it and be able to flip Padana's climb. But I guess that was too good for my opponent. So we saw all right, so we saw Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure. I don't remember their mana base. Are they did you all see are they Grixis? Or are they just blue black? Like did we see Grixis? I don't know if that changes anything really for me, but I'm bringing in binding and negate. And I'm cutting Deputy of Detention and Hadana's Climb. Turn it inside out. Yeah, okay, so it could be Demir or Grixis. I guess it could be Sultai. Could be Esper. Esper. Against Esper, I wouldn't really want these things as much. Those enchantments. Dank Knight with the sub. Welcome to the stream, Dank Knight. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Of course, it could also be just Dan Knight with a, you know, uh, Knight with a K. Certainly could be the name there. Um, Rendezvous. Thank you so much. So that is sub number, oh, whoa, whoops. There we go. I changed that, sub 28 on the day. And then 82 to go.
Looks like it's just straight up blue black. With this with all these basics. Yeah, it could really be either one, Dank Knight or Dan Knight. No, we were, Rev Daddy. Um, I guess we had a lot of subs uh, finish their sub time earlier, I suppose. Like from from must have been a month ago, a lot of subs uh, subs wore off from last month. We may have had a lot of gifted subs like a month ago. Incubation Druid. Get some work done. A lot of spells. Lots of spells. Hey, good thing we cut this land of war off around. It's a good card to discard. I guess I should have cast that first. Yep. That's a mistake. They got rid of Doom Whisper. Right, I'm going to get the Growth Chamber Guardian out of my hand. Then. So, like, you know, they do discard stuff. I'll get rid of the Tribunal, but then we won't have anything else to get rid of. Right, at least it's not Ritual Set. We certainly didn't have Ritual Sit last turn. Unlikely they just dropped for this turn. And I certainly missed a point of damage earlier with Llanowar Elf that I could have gotten. If you were a Planeswalker of Magic, what would your plus ability do? Um, I think it would be... Uh, They're saying good game. I don't have lethal here. It would be look at the top card of your library. Um, you may reveal it if it's a land, put it on the battlefield. And if it's a creature, you can put it into your hand. They top deck the ritual set. Do they have that plus counter spell? Wow. That's a bummer. Um, I mean, I could activate Growth Chamber Guardian here. But then it just goes back to my hand. And so if they have any kind of discard thing, which their deck has a lot of discard thing, then it just turns that on.
Well. well. That card was good, whatever it was. They kept it on their on the top of their deck really fast. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the preemptive GG either. All right. The game is actually over. Good job, Vivian. I didn't live through hell. Draw and Way fire. to win. <laughs> yes, I know how to tie this Windsor. I don't I don't have uh clip on ties. No clip on ties for me. All right, we are 4 and 1. Final boss time. Okay. Ooh, what are we waiting for, Neon Trees? That's a good question. Final boss. Get ready. We have defeated so many final bosses today. Let's see if we can get one more. go with this um, I'm not I don't remember what deck we lost to oh yeah I think it was yeah is it Drake's yeah I think that's what we lost to looks like we got another one here ooh Burn, huh? In that case, I think I'm gonna just Knight of Autumn gain four this turn. Get this get the hollowed fountain in into play. Tapped, don't wanna use. Don't wanna shock with it. Hey, it's all good, black mana. It's all good then. Yeah, I had seven there. You thought it was eight. It's all good. Okay. I don't mind that getting lightning stricken from the record. Too much. Get this Terramander out of here. Night Owl! Thanks for the bits. We can do it. Siren Storm Tamer. Our opponent... You know, like they're getting stuck on mana. It's probably, it's probably unfortunate for our opponent. The wild them still being on two lands. Ah, those cards are good. Dun, dun. Scars are lessons written in skin. Hmm. All right, they got multiple terramanders. I don't think I'm I'm minusing Vivian here. I've I think I want to find some more threats. Someone like you. Which I guess is this Knight of Autumn. And I'm just gonna make it a four three. Put some pressure on our opponent. Most wounds can heal. The wilds are my shield. Hmm. I want to take the ooze. I feel like Frilled Mystic may be our, our best card to take here, though. Do y'all think I should, like, you know, I just go back to the, the stream playlist and start that back. Um, 
Do y'all think that I should just be playing that, uh, our, uh... The, uh, song, like, over and over again? Throughout the, the whole, the entire final boss match? Probably not, it's like 20 minutes. 30 minutes, like, sometimes. Ooh, maybe just get a whole playlist of boss fights? Okay. That makes sense that that was a card in hand. Now we're getting started. You can't stop nature. Must be far. Stop. Opponent Hecka Rude. I don't know, they're like wizards. Maybe blue red wizards? Is this a wizard? That's not a wizard. I don't know. Is it tempo? It's like it's like mono blue aggro splashing burn spells and other counter spells. I guess. How many spells they got in here right now? Three. So Terra Manders would cost five mana to turn into eight eights. I mean, is the opponent dead? Our opponent may be dead. Hmm. Did he even leave back a blocker or anything? It's a bold strat. Alright. Final boss. Going with some bold strategies. Let's go with this baffling end. Shalai Lyra. Um, Night of Autumn destroys... Curious Obsession. <laughs> Who needs blockers? Maybe they'll just F6 through their attack. I think I want to go like this. This looks good to me. Don't talk about it. That's what I'm feeling. Just fill the board with threats. I feel like they could maybe they could probably go under threats if we just have like a bunch of expensive threats. They could go under it. They do play via Shino. Um, Debbie attention is, you know, like we don't want to exile a via Shino. Ah. Are we sure they don't have a ton of three damage burn? Just because they didn't draw it that last game. I mean, we saw Wizard's Lightning. So presumably they'd have. Lightning strike to go along with Wizard's Lightning as well. Hey, what's up, Neuritis? It's mono blue, splash red. Blue red wizards.
All right, we get a counter spell out, out of their hand. Yeah, trying to get that countered. Free up our other spells. Deputy detention would be good here. Not as good. I always like leading with Shalai before Lyra. Uh, you know, with Lyra being more important. But Shalai gets to protect Lyra. The one problem is Shalai does not protect Lyra from a counter spell. Okay, well, I guess they don't have a counter spell. Come to me. May need to just gain this life. Who knows? You think they have dive down? I think it they could have saved their creature with dive down if they would have had that. I'm not sure what they got. Looks like not much. And the final boss has been defeated. There we go. Wilderness Reclamation in the Gates deck? Just not necessary. You're not really playing instants there. Wilderness Reclamation, you certainly need like a lot of like explosions or electrodominances or nexa fates, something like that. To make it worth it. Alright, we yeah, we just 5-0'd the final bosses. We we really did, because yeah, both of those losses and the 5-1 wins were before. Yeah, we 5 0 final bosses tonight. Alright, we got 40 gems and 2100 gold. It's a good league. There we go. So about So yeah, about Bant. Um, hey, last chance PR with a donation. Where's my band deck? Bands adapt. Um, so last thing about this deck here for the YouTube video. Um, yeah, deputy detention is just a card I don't want in the deck at all. I'd board it out in every single matchup. I uh, wouldn't want to play that. Um, I think that we could use a little bit more at the two mana slot. Like maybe like some some uh, either Growth Spiral or uh, Druid of the Cowl. Something else, like just a little bit more ramp there. I think three Hedonis Climb is probably a little much. I think Hedonis Climb is okay, but I, I would, I would rather, I'd rather that be like a one or a two of. A lot of these Knight of Autumn should probably be sideboard. Um, we had like, you know, we had... Yeah, I, I would like Knight of Autumn kind of sideboard, but they're not that bad. They're not so bad. And then besides that, maybe some Hydroid Crisis for some top end. Um, and there we go. Yeah, I mean, basically, I'm just saying, like, basically, like, the, the Bant midrange deck that I made earlier. That's all I'm kind of just telling, it's like, saying, like, ooh, maybe we should turn this into that. But, no, it was good. Hadana's Climb was good. Uh, Growth Chamber Guardian it did a lot of work for us. That was a card that I didn't didn't have in my deck. Um, but yeah, that card's just really good. Uh, we didn't get to ooze too much this time, but yeah, the Bant decks are good. Bant decks are good. Lots of lots of good tools here in Bant. Um, they're looking strong. So there we go. If you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.